Okay, now I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about a topic that's kind of dear to my heart, mainly because I was a university professor for, or oh, maybe about 40 years, and that is the role of sports sciences on a university level. And I had an idea the other day, not an idea, but thoughts went through my mind, reading about some of the, uh, or well, the number of foreign uh, students that come to our universities to study the sciences. See, so the United, United States universities are well known throughout the world for the level of expertise that is possible, the latest uh, innovations, knowledge, uh, practices, and so on. They come to the United States to learn in physics, chemistry, uh, or any other sciences. Um, the medical, bi biological sciences. We're number one, superior in all of these. But when it comes to the sports scientists, or the sports sciences, we don't see this. Dramatic change. And where do you go for the latest in the sports sciences? Or sports sciences? We have to go to Europe. Soviet Union, or with the former Soviet Union, now Russia. Germany. They're far ahead of us in this area. And I've often wondered why this is. I was in the sports sciences. This is what I taught. And a lot of it I saw with even with my colleagues. They're not really looking at what happens in the world of sport. Somehow physical education becomes the focal point. And therefore we have a few classes who are not supposedly to, uh, to prepare these physical education teachers, uh, many of whom don't even use that knowledge in their teaching. But I won't go into the physical education teaching, that's for another topic. But what is being taught? Why aren't we looking at training coaches to be the best. Right now in the United States, the major criterion to be a coach is to have played the sport. The majority of our coaches, up to 90%, are parents. Have no training whatsoever in the teaching or, or you know practice of uh, running a team. They know how to run a team. I'll, I'll have to correct that. But what are the purposes of a coach on a team? Is it to teach skills, teach strategy, do both? Should be do both. But yet the way our leagues are set up and whatnot, we only have enough time for competition. There's no teaching. There's very little strategy development. There's some and they spend most of their time on strategy. This is why they always pick the best kids. Kids with potential are uh, dropped by the wayside. We don't know what to do with them. We don't know how to make them better. But some of them could be better than the best ones. So let's go back again to the university. See, it's so easy to digress from it when we take a look at what's actually happening in practice. So our knowledge of what it takes not only to be a top-level coach, but also the latest sciences in terms of development of the various physical qualities or development of better technique. There's no technique teaching on the university level. The Russians, on the other hand, could spend a whole semester dealing with running. We spend maybe one class on running. So maybe one hour. And they cover all of running. So how much detail can you get? It, 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 it's a farce. Same thing with some of the other skills. There was a survey once on a biomechanics site that I belong to. And they asked what, what should be taught in the beginning biomechanics class at the, on the university level. And how I, I brought out that it should be the teaching of skills. See, biomechanics and technique, they're really basically the same thing. Or the biomechanics of sports technique. This is what should be taught, number one. Well, I was shut down. Most, most of the teachers were not in agreement with this. They thought the major purpose of the teaching was to develop the biomechanics in other areas. So they're more concerned with, let's say, development of prostheses and so on, the medical sciences, rather than sports sciences. So it's almost like the kinesiology departments are moving more toward uh, what they think is gaining more respectability 
by going into the medical and so on fields rather than how can we come become even better in developing the sports sciences how can we get better technique how can we improve athletic performance through better technique analysis of all of these things and we see many examples of European athletes who have this other training take a look at Nowitzki for example in basketball he even has his German trainer with him even at this time so uh, the other part where is the science or the research being done on how to develop better develop the physical qualities strength speed explosive power and so on all the methods that we presently use all came from the Russians explosive training the whole concept behind explosive training plyometrics this all came from the Russians that's just an example and there are many more that I can get into the, the innovations that we see uh, happening in the sports sciences the sports training that is done on this level it's not due to the universities we can't thank the universities for this knowledge and the training of trainers to, to impart this knowledge most of it is still coming from Europe mainly the Russians and Germans so until something changes on the university level we're not really going to see much change in what we do many of us still or many coaches still believe in what we call the nun system in other words we don't have a system everybody does his own thing now we've been successful at that mainly because we had the numbers we had more numbers than other countries more participants but times are changing other countries are now getting ahead of us in many areas the United States junior uh, basketball team they lost in the world championships they didn't just take second place they weren't even in the finals and then we take a look at just about any sport that you want take a look at the, any major track program in the United States they all have foreigners on the team you will not find a major track program without foreigners even basketball coaches are out recruiting in the European and other countries for better players look at baseball baseball is spending millions of dollars in other countries to develop talent for our professional professional teams so baseball teams are looking around the world all of our coaches go to other worlds other, <laughs> other countries <coughs> excuse me go to other countries to find better athletes so even though we have the numbers we're not coming up with better athletes so here's where we have a major problem and I believe it all stems from the university not doing their job they should be teaching this we should be leaders as we are in the other sciences we should be leaders in the sports sciences so once we can change this we're going to see a difference in the development of our athletes and we're we have only to gain by it there is no loss here we can become much better and stronger than we presently are Russian coaches when they come over here and they see our athletes and work with some of our athletes they just moan they say oh if we had all of these athletes what we could do with them just amazing see they didn't have the sports base that we do so even with a meager crop they were able to train out these great winners we have the crop massive crop and we just hope that we're going to have a couple of good winners so if the universities don't change this will continue and things will get worse so I guess I'm saying this now I'm kind of philosophizing to see if we can't hopefully make a change in this direction let's get our sciences up to date let's get professors who are really interested in the sports who really want to get involved and in how do we better develop a, a great athlete how can we improve upon a technique of these different sports how can we improve the physical abilities of all of these athletes to get better performances in the different sports this is where we should be focused and this should be the prime one of the prime objectives of the kinesiology programs especially on a graduate level undergraduate and graduate with this 
I think we can see a great and dramatic turnaround.